Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Danny. I'm going to tell you how I got recruited to play Ivy League Baseball. So hopefully this video will give you guys some insight into what it's like to get recruited by an NCAA team. Um, but stick around for more videos to hear from me and other student athletes about our experiences getting recruited to other schools and for other sports, as well as to hear what it's like to be a student athlete in college. So like I said, guys, my name is Danny. I'm a student at Columbia University. I was recruited to play baseball at Columbia. Um, I played there for a year and a half until I got hurt, could no longer play, so I had to stop. But um, nonetheless, um, I wanted to tell you guys about my experience getting recruited to play D1 baseball um, and hopefully help some of you guys out who are currently in that process or looking to get into that process. So I'm from Massachusetts. I went to St. John's Prep. Um, and I guess I'll just start telling you guys from my freshman year what I did each year in order to get recruited um, eventually to play D1 baseball. So my freshman year, my freshman fall, I played football for St. John's. Um, I ended up getting hurt playing football that year. Basically right away, I got hurt in uh, preseason stuff. So I stopped playing. Um, not to say that you guys need to stop playing like football or basketball or whatever if you guys um, are trying to pursue another sport, but I ended up hurting my shoulder um, and I couldn't throw for a few months because of that. Um, and knowing that I wanted to play baseball in college, I just stopped playing football altogether. It just wasn't worth it for me. So um, I stopped playing football that fall. And then over the winter, I was just, you know, maybe lifting weights here and there, nothing crazy. Um, I was practicing with my summer ball team, like my travel team, um, all winter long. I was also doing PT for my shoulder that year. Um, and then come the spring, I tried out for St. John's um, JV team, their JV baseball team, and I didn't end up making it. I ended up playing freshman baseball for the whole season. So um, don't think if you're trying to play D1 sports and you're a freshman or sophomore or whatever and you can't make the varsity team that year, you still, you totally can still play uh, D1 sports. Uh, you can totally still play D3, D2, whatever you guys want. So don't think that if you're a freshman and you're not making these varsity teams, that doesn't mean anything right now. So don't worry about that. So that summer, after my freshman year, I played travel baseball with Legends Baseball. Um, I'd been playing with them for a few years already, so I knew the team really well, I knew the coach as well, so that was really fun. Um, and then I also did a showcase called the Head First Honor Roll Showcase, or the Head First Honor Roll Tournament, something like that. It was in Florida. It was really fun, I really recommend that showcase, um, if they're still doing it. Um, I just thought I was a little bit too young to be doing it right after my freshman year, after I just got off the freshman baseball team. I just didn't really think I was ready yet. I wasn't throwing hard enough. I wasn't hitting well enough. Um, I was still pretty skinny. So um, I recommend doing showcases, especially that one, but maybe after your sophomore year, just when you're feeling a little bit more prepared to be getting into those types of situations. So then my sophomore year for the fall and the winter, I was doing jujitsu. I was um, rock climbing. I was lifting weights. And I was practicing with my summer ball team um, and then come the spring I was I tried out for the varsity team and I didn't end up making it again so I played JV that year um, like I said guys if you're not making the varsity team your freshman sophomore year it does not matter you guys still totally have a chance to play uh, D1 baseball D1 sports in general so don't let that you know get the best of you so um, I ended up playing JV for the whole season. I never got called up to varsity. Um, and then that summer, that's when the recruiting stuff really started to kick in. So the summer after my sophomore year, I was still playing baseball with Legends Baseball, and I was emailing a ton of coaches trying to get them to come watch me play. Because if you don't tell them who you are, it's most likely the coaches don't know who you are. Um, and they're, they're probably not gonna find you. So. I think it's really important to make a short list of schools kind of after your sophomore year um, and start emailing those coaches saying like, hey guys, my name's Danny, I'm 6'1", I'm 165 pounds, I'm a left-handed pitcher from Massachusetts, um, I play for this team, really interested in going to your school um, for this reason, for that reason, whatever, and um, I'm pitching on Saturday the 11th, like hopefully you can, you know, catch me there, you guys can come watch my game. So. Um, that's kind of what you need to start doing in order to get your name out there and let these coaches know who you are. So despite writing all those emails, talking to all these coaches, um, I still wasn't getting any offers. I wasn't like really having good dialogue with many coaches. 
I was mostly just getting my name out there and I was just focused on myself, just trying to, you know, get better, um, play harder. So that's kind of the most important thing that I did that summer, just try to get better and just get my name out there. So during my junior year, that fall, I played fall ball. Um, I kind of just continued playing from the summer straight through the fall. I was still trying to email coaches, still trying to get my name out there um, and get them to come watch me play. Nothing really stuck yet, no offers, no really solid dialogue yet. Um, and then once that season ended, I was just practicing with my summer ball team. I was lifting weights, I was rock climbing. Um, I was not doing jujitsu anymore. And then that, su uh, that spring, um, I tried out for the varsity team and I finally made the varsity team. I played with them that whole spring. And then come the playoffs at the very end of the season, I had finally gotten some offers from some local D3 schools. Um, so that's when it started getting like, you know, really serious for me. I was still emailing those coaches during the high school season um, and they would come watch me play. And then, yeah, at the end of the season, uh, they liked what they saw. They offered me um, some tours at their school. Um, I would go on them. And then usually after the, the visit, they would offer me a, a position um, to play baseball for them. That's another thing too, is um, you don't only need to email schools in the summer when you're playing summer baseball, when you're traveling. Um, you can do it in high school too, and especially local schools, they'll come watch you play. Um, if they like you, if they've seen you before, if they know you, that's kind of like why it's important to get your name out there the summer before, um, so that you know they have a reason to come watch you play and see how, how, how much better you got over that season. So by the end of my junior year, I had gotten offers from St. Joseph's, um, a small college in Maine, and also from Brandeis. Um, and after those two offers, I was really motivated to get a lot better. Um, I started just training way harder than I ever had been. Um, I put on a lot of size, got a lot stronger, and I was throwing way harder, um, just playing better in general. So that summer, everything fell into place. Um, I got a bunch of offers from Tufts, Endicott, Gordon, Nichols, Babson, City College of New York, Franklin and Marshall, Pomona Pitzer, UMass Amherst, Quinnipiac, and then eventually Columbia. Um, and then I was also talking with Holy Cross, Johns Hopkins, Georgetown, and Davidson. So it just goes to show like, it can all happen for you guys really quickly if you guys are just willing to put in the work. Um, and you know, that's really all it takes, it's just hard work. So I really think you guys need to get your name out there um, and just get better and make sure that you're seen. So something else that was uh, really helpful for me that summer was just having my high school coach, my summer ball coach, and my fall ball coach from earlier that year also talking to these coaches um, and kind of like advocating for me. So um, I also recommend that you guys talk to your coaches and make sure that you're having them start dialogues with the, you know, the college coaches that you want to uh, have see you. So by the end of the summer, I had a good amount of offers. I was trying to decide which school I wanted to go to the most. Um, I thought it was going to be Tufts because I still hadn't had a actual offer from Columbia yet. They were showing a lot of interest in me, but they just wanted to see me throw one more time that fall. So in early September, I went down to New York. I threw at a showcase at Columbia and I finally got an offer from them a few days later. Um, so that was really exciting, of course, um, and I committed to them then. So one more thing to say about the offers that I received is that none of those offers were like my number one dream school that I really wanted to go to. And so when I received the offers, I just told the coaches like, thank you so much for this offer. Thank you so much for all the time you've put into me. Um, like I'm so grateful for this, um, but I'm still trying to decide where I want to go. I'm still not sure yet. Uh, I need more time to think about it. Um, you know, like, can you give me more time to think about it? And basically everyone I got offers from said like, yeah, totally take your time. Um, let me know whenever you're, you, you figure it out. So um, that's kind of how that worked. I didn't decline any offers. I want to keep as many doors open as possible, but um, I just politely said like, can you give me a little bit more time to think about it? So like I said, um, I got that offer from Columbia during my senior year fall, which is like really, really late for playing D1 baseball. Um, but I was lucky enough to get it and I accepted the offer immediately. Then I just emailed 
the coaches who had offered me over the summer, and I said, like, thank you so much again. But um, I accepted an offer at Columbia. Um, like, thank you for your time and all that. Um, usually you'd want to do that over the phone as well. Um, and so then my senior year, I didn't play fall baseball. I took some time off from baseball for like two months. Um, and then over the winter, I was practicing getting ready for the spring season. And then I just played my spring season um, at St. John's. All right, guys, so that's my experience getting recruited to play baseball in the Ivy League. Um, stick around for some more videos about what it's like to actually play in the Ivy League, um, as well as to hear from other student athletes about their experience getting recruited by other schools and for different sports even. So hopefully you guys stick around, subscribe, and uh, are back for some more videos. Thank you so much for watching.